Hi guys, it's Chris at Cork and Crown, back at my cider desk with some more cider to try. And it's another Smith Hain of the six bottles I got from Smith Hain. I just noticed Adam Wells is just in the cider review thing where he's done a, uh, a vintage comparison of multiple bottles of Smith Hain, many of which I have. Total coincidence, I didn't know I was going to do this at all. And uh, so we'll kind of do it at the same time. However, this video will come out well, quite a bit later, I suspect, than his. In fact, I get so many videos done, but I don't publish them immediately because I've got to edit them. I get a backlog. So I'm going to start telling you the date. So today, what is the date today? Today is Wednesday, the 26th of July. It's a very hot day. I'm sweating. It's been 30 degrees plus. So I'm looking forward to a cold cider. And the cold cider I'm looking forward to is the Smith Hain Red Label Special Reserve, I believe this is, 2022. Not released yet, I think. I love it when they write on the back in Biro. You know it's something special when they've handwritten in Biro on the back. Petion Naturel Keeved. Mwah. Love a Keeved cider, 4.5%. Um, not quite sweet, not fully sweet. See, they've got these apples. This is just one off sweet. Um, doesn't say what the apple varietals are, but I have on the screen in front of me a list of the apples that they stuck, that they have, that they pick for the next cider from. And there's a picture as well, and the other picture is two little border terriers. And I'm a big border terrier fan. I have a border terrier, Reggie. He's more than just a pet, he's my friend. I love him very much. So I always love to see other border terriers out and about in the world. And these two very happy border terriers sitting in an orchard. Looks great. Anyway, Smith Hain dates back to 1333 as a working farm, and there is map evidence of the existence of traditional orchards of as far back as 1867. Currently, the orchards have 13 different cider varieties. They are Tremlett's Bitter, Dabiner, Browns, Chisel Jersey, Porter's Perfection, Brown Snout, Phil Barrel. Um, that one is, where's that one from? I think that one's from Wincanton. I think it's from Wincanton. I think it's a bitter sweet, mild bitter sweet. Might be wrong. Michelin, Sweet Coppin, Yarnton Miller, Harry Master Jersey, Lambrook Pippin, and Stembridge Cluster. Stembridge Cluster, I think, is a bit sharp and comes from around, um, was propagated by a Mr. Sam Dock. Samuel Dock, what a great name. Um, so, in the environs of uh, Borough Hill, Somerset Cider Brandy, Julian Temperley, that part of the world. And actually, Wincant is just up the road, some very similar part of the world. Those two. And then there is also some walnut trees, plum trees, cherry. There are Bramley apples, Katie, Rennet Dubry, which I think I've seen in, in their blends. And Charles Ross, don't know what that is. We do not spray the trees or add fertiliser. There you go. So that's all our apples. And I think we've had most of them in various blends so far. I'm assuming this is going to be a blend as well. But it will be, because the only single writing that I'm aware of at the moment to do is Yarnton Mill. And we've already had that one. So let's open this up. No cheese today. No cheese today. Pop. Smoking gun. There it is. Smoking. Pour it into the side of salon glass. Check it out. So you expect some lovely fine bubbles. So bottle before the end of fermentation to get some sweetness in bottle. So it's, I guess it's quite hard to judge when you're doing that because you're keeping it. So it's not going to fully um, ferment out anyway. So you're going to bottle it, you know, when there's still more sugar in than you would normally allow for. Um, you know, if, I guess if you hadn't keeved and you bottled it as early as this is probably bottled, you get a bottle bomb because it would ferment to dry, eat all the sugars and boom, you'd have a right mess on your hands when you open them bottles up. So yeah, judging when to do it must be tricky. I assume if you do it enough, you know exactly what sort of you know, gravity you need to bottle at to get the fizz that you want. So let's look at the colour. Um, Let's use this cheese manual I wrote again, because it's next to me. Uh, it needs to be right anyway. I have been paid for it now, but I haven't when I last spoke of it. Here you go, lovely amber colour, that hint of gold, but actually, it's just beautiful amber. It's lovely, hazy, but that might just be some, some condensation on the glass as well, because it's such a hot day. But it will be hazy because it's unfiltered. We have nothing to it whatsoever, except a little bit of sulphites at the very beginning when it's pressed just to allow the wild yeast to do its stuff and get rid of any baddies. Because baddies are very, very sensitive to um, sulfites. But uh, the wild yeast are not. So you can get rid of the baddies and keep the goodies by adding just the right amount, which isn't very much at all. Okay, let's smell it. Ooh, nice. Very different, actually. To the, it's a bit more like a fresh apple character, but this is younger, 2020, it's still 2022. Hints of funk about it. I like that. I like that. 
to the slightly more, it's not malic, but I find that the smell is a little less really kind of sweated apple character. You know, I talked about my mother's shade with the barrels of apples in there, sitting there for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and months. And the smell of those, this doesn't have that. It has a bit more acidity than the sweated apple, that sweated uh, uh, apple character. But it does have that sweated apple character in there as well. And it's hint of maybe pineapple or something. <coughs> Certainly sort of stone fruit and stuff going on. Nice, let's taste it. Oh, lovely bubbles, not too fizzy. Brilliant, actually. I love that level of sparkle. You get the big mousse in your mouth, but it doesn't like hurt your tongue. It's just, it's just got these little bubbles of aromatics popping in your mouth. To get those aromatics up to the back of your nose, your olfactory bulb, just to get your fat, the synapses firing, get more flavour from it. Mm. It is quite sweet, but I love it. I have a sweet tooth, however, but it's a natural sweetness, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's great. It's really nice. Um, there are tannins, but they're very soft tannins. Not really getting any hard tannin on the back really at all. Quite low acid. Uh, I think, I mean, I don't know what the blend is. They do have some bitter sharps. And I think, did, did I see browns on there as well? That's a sharp. But obviously do the proportions. This feels very French, very Normandy in style to me, this. Less Breton, which I t in my experience is a bit more that that leathery tannic character to it. This is much softer in that regard, but by gum it's delicious. Some minerality as well, just a hint, just a hint. There we are again, splashing our way into that mountain stream. We're rummaging around in that cold stream for a stone. We pulled it out, and for no apparent reason, we've licked it. But what we've tasted when we've licked it is minerality. I'm getting a bit of that off this. Oh. Gorgeous. <laughs> it's an apple dessert in a glass. It's an apple dessert in a glass. I love it. Um, it could probably have a hair more acidity. A hair more, just to offset the sweetness a little bit. For me though, it's fine. Because I do like a keen cider. I do, don't mind a bit of sweetness, a bit of sugar on cider at all. People that don't normally drink sweet ciders, they probably want a bit more either leatheriness from the tannin or acidity from the from a like sharp or a bit of sharp whatever however for me it's fab if you like french keen ciders boom you're gonna love this you're gonna love it it's absolutely fab it's only 4.5 percent so you can drink it all day and still get up for work in the morning yeah maybe not but yeah it's absolutely super mm. that my friends tells you everything you need to know yum 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 on a hot day like this, gorgeous. So there you go. That is Smith Hain Cider, Special Reserve 2022. We like it very much indeed, very much indeed. So I'm going to charge my glass. And once I've charged it, I'm going to raise it. I'm going to say thank you for joining me at the cider desk. I hope you join me again. But until that time, cheers. <laughs>